Oh, yes, hold on, wait, wait first. Ray, hold on, Ray. Is, is Kamala black? Yes or no? I'm going to let her speak on that. <laughs> but to me, no. Oh. I is Kamala black? Yes or no? I share that same view. Wow. Is Kamala black? Yes or no? I heard she was. A CNN host has a meltdown after realizing that black men do not support Kamala Harris. So in this video, we're going to break it all down. Welcome back to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can get this out to more people just like you and me. Now, there was an interview that was conducted in Harrisburg, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, at a local barber shop that is owned by black people. They go in there and they start asking them a bunch of questions about the election, about Kamala Harris, and about Donald Trump. And it's all the same questions, right? It, it's all the same standard questions that we've been hearing this entire election cycle. But the answers they got, CNN did not like. And in fact, and in fact, started to get upset and minimize what those answers were. So without further ado, let's check out that video. Let's talk about Donald Trump. Okay. Is he a racist? I, I'm going to let everybody speak before I speak on that. All right. So hold on. You're, you're in here. That's a great question. Is Donald Trump a racist? I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. Until I see something mm. for myself, that would paint in my mind or give me the information, the evidence, hey, he's racist. I would say yes, but currently, that man hasn't done anything or said anything that made me look at him and go, oh, he's a racist. If you oh, ask wow. social media, is he a racist? Is it a little more clean? Oh yeah, it's clean yeah, cut. Yeah. Uh, what's happening over there? No, listen, um, what do you think? Because, because, you know, racism, being a racist by definition is feeling your race is superior mm -hmm. to the other race. Because mm -hmm. I think people get racism and prejudice mixed up mm -hmm. yes. so so do you because we're saying someone's racist that's what everyone says mm -hmm. but Ray, does he fa do because a lot of people that a lot of brown skin people favor other brown skin people does that mm -hmm. make them racist but what do you, what do you think when you hear that question is donald trump racist what's the first thought that comes in your mind it has been painted in the media for him like because like they take sound bites of him they take but his speeches and then and, and they can turn them into like him targeting one specific type of race in a sense like that, but like, like him, like it, it, unless there's a defining wow. image of him being racist, then he's racist to me. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump racist? I think he's racist. That's my honest opinion. Tell me, tell me why. Um, Cause I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm, this is what we're just talking. I think he's racist because he doesn't do like he doesn't do much for us, and I mean I can't. He, he don't do much for us as a black as, as for the black people. He don't. He don't got no respect for nobody. Um, I just don't like the man, honestly. I think he's a joke, honestly. This That's is my opinion. This, this, why, this yeah. is why we this is why we have yeah. this conversation. Yeah, like, yeah. And sometimes I just can't watch them. Like, I just turn my that. TV off, honestly. Okay, so you guys seen that, right? And that brings me to three major points I want to make about this question. Is Donald Trump racist? Number one, the question is clearly no. And the reason why is because go look up his history with black people before he became the president. Before he became the president. Before the media turned on him. Before hip-hop turned on him. Hollywood turned on him. Go look at it. If someone is so racist... Why would they have a picture with Muhammad Ali? Why would they have a picture with Rosa Parks? Why would he have a picture with Oprah? Why would he have a picture with Al Sharpton? Like there are so many prominent black people in the community historically supported him, spoke on behalf of him in a positive light, took his money and recognized him. Now, all of a sudden that he ran for president, he's a racist. The reason why people see him that way is because that is the propaganda machine, also known as the fake news media. That is what has happened. You cannot pull up a legislation. You cannot pull up an executive order. You cannot pull up a speech. You can't even find a physical act with this man doing something that is racist. But you know what you can find? You could find President Biden saying things that are racist, saying that he didn't want his 
kids to go to the same school as black people. He called it a jungle. That is recorded history. Matter of fact, his own vice president, Harris, called him a racist during the 2020 presidential debate. But the media is not going to bring that up because they want to paint this man in the worst light so people don't vote for him. So that's my my point number one. Point number two, you saw the second individual, right, that was asked that question. And he was like, yeah, I think he is. And then the follow-up question, which is the best question ever to ask people who have Trump derangement syndrome, they just shut down. But I would always do this. It's not about convincing anyone. Just ask them questions. Oh, really? Why do you think that? Oh, well, you know, I just don't like them. Okay, so if you don't like somebody, that means they're racist, right? Well, I just think he's a mean person. Oh, so if he's mean, he's racist. Oh, you see, Matt, it just doesn't add up. And that's what's wrong with the country is we throw out these labels like the word racism, and we water it down and we try to use it as a word for everything. And it's not. And then the third point, which is what the barber was making, was there's a lot of people close to Donald Trump, people who have worked for him, people have seen him in business and have nothing but nice things to say. That does not mean he's a perfect person, but it definitely does not mean he's a racist. And so you see what their mindset is. And so that kind of leads us to the point of the video where CNN decided to respond to this story. And let's just say their response was quite embarrassing. Let's play that. A Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, CBS network anchor went to a central Pennsylvania barber shop seeking some candid conversation. Among the revelations that some of the black men that he interviewed did not regard Harris as black. Is Kamala going to make you... Uh a little more likely or less likely to vote Democrat. Well, yes, hold on, hold on, first, Ray, hold on, Ray. Is, is Kamala black, yes or no? I'm gonna let her speak on that. <laughs> but to me, no. Oh, I is Kamala Kamala black, yes or no? I share that same view. Wow, is Kamala black, yes or no? I heard she was, I heard she's half black and half Asian. When I played that audio on my Sirius XM radio program on Thursday, many callers who self-identified as African-American were quick to tell me that those men were the exception, not the rule. Some described them as low information voters, no different than you'd find among whites. Trump is outperforming other Republican presidential candidates for the black vote. Recent polling by the New York Times and Siena shows him capturing 23% of the black vote. Compare that to the last GOP nominee, Mitt Romney, who in 2012 received only 6% of the black vote against Barack Obama. Okay, so this guy, I mean, the, just ridiculous take, right? They are the exception, not the rule. How about those callers that called in? Are they the rule or are they the exception? Like, where does he get off trying to debunk that? That I, I find that to be disrespectful. That That's number one, okay? Number two, let's just call it what it is. Black men are not supporting Kamala Harris. It just is what it is. And you know why that is? Because the very first thing that her campaign did is they reached out to black women. They didn't reach out to black people, men and women. They reached out to black women only. They held a black women only Zoom call. So that tells you what the Democrats think about black men. The black men know exactly what this is, okay? This is a smokescreen. This, this is a woman who... Uh, you know, was leading with her Indian heritage. She ran on her Indian heritage when she was uh, putting her name in the hat for president back in 2020. And now all of a sudden, people want to forget all that, clean it off the internet. But guess what? You can't delete everything off the internet. So let me play this video for you. I stand before you as the first candidate for vice president of the United States of South Asian descent. Certainly, you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes, yes. Okay, and okay. I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people, the uh -huh. supermarket, on uh -huh. the street, everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our <laughs> thing we're so excited about to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes, um, you look like the entire one half of my family. Okay, so you guys seen a few of those clips, right? Now, again, father was Jamaican, uh, mother was Indian, okay? When she ran as a senator in California, she ran as an Indian American. Facts, you can go Google that. You can see the articles way back when if you really want to do your research, that's cool. Does it really matter what she is? No. 
the point that we're making that black men do not like that the media is doing is she is showing up and trying to now claim to be predominantly black so she can pander to the black community and black men. They're just not going to accept that. And she even went as far as trying to change her accent when she did her rally in Atlanta. Let's take a look at that. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So let's get right down. <laughs> so, so I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm going to get into some business now. Okay, I'm going to get into some business now. All right. Okay, and guys, th this speaks to the level of pandering, how fake, how manipulative they're going to be to try to get people to vote for her. But some black Americans aren't buying it like this woman. The left wants you to get in your feelings about things that have been said, but I want you guys to pay attention to what has been done. They don't want to talk policy. They just want to use propaganda to steal your vote. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? But then again, not everybody is going to agree with that type of mindset. And you're going to have people in the black community that are still deranged and just cannot think for themselves whatsoever and have a hard time being truly neutral or having any type of critical thinking skills. And who then none other than this gentleman? Uh, peace, Aaron. How are you? First and foremost, um, no, uh, does he deserve credit? No, he doesn't deserve credit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't I don't give a damn about any of this and neither should you like nobody in the media should care. Donald Trump doesn't have any new tricks. He focuses on identity. He focuses on race. He focuses on gender. He makes white America think that the changing demographics of this country are a threat to their livelihood. And he makes them believe if we don't take things back to the way they were probably 1950 something, then America as they know it will be ruined. It's just a distraction. Like Public Enemy had a uh, had a, a album called Fear of a Black Planet. Something about it that I wanted to play for everyone, so you could explain sort of how this makes you think. And though you know, you talk about it. You like we just we just have to stop falling for it. All right. Like, so uh, yeah. All right, so today, though, you know, you talk about it. You tackled it on your show because it's out there. People are talking about it. One of your callers actually called in and said something about it that I wanted to play for everyone, so you could explain sort of how this makes you think and, and feel. Here's the caller. Man, to be honest, Camilla Harris, she already said that she wasn't black. It's all over oh, everything. Kamala she didn't have an interview. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. But uh, <laughs> uh, she already said that she's not black. She identifies as an Indian. She but never, she was she running and she that. did all of that in California. She, she never, uh, yes, she, she has. No, she hasn't. Have you yes, read, she has. Have you, a, listen, have you ever read her book? In, no, in, I don't. Read, I don't. I won't. I don't. I won't say right now. In, in her book, she <laughs> specifically talks about how you know her mom uh, definitely instilled her Indian heritage in her, but also told her she was a, a, a black woman and raised her to be a proud black. They woman. have an interview. She has a verbal interview with a white woman, and she says that she is not black. She is Indian. Lord have mercy. So what? What do you do about that? What, what, what do I do? I tell everybody not to be distracted. And, and I would say the same, th the same thing to the vice president. All the vice president has to do is stay on message. All these conversations about what's black, who's black, forget all that. You know, how, how are you going to put money in people's pockets? How are you going to keep people safe? That's what both candidates need to be talking about over the next 95 days. We all know Kamala Harris is black and we all know she's Indian. And we also know Donald Trump is a bigot and we know he's divisive. I don't need the media running Donald Trump's greatest hits uh, over and over for the next 95 days. Donald Trump, as of right now, has no real strategy against the vice president. So they're going to say she's a DEI hire. They're going to attempt to weaponize her not having kids. They're going to question her blackness. Ignore it all. All right. So you guys saw his 
deranged take, by the way. And let's just debunk some of it. Number one, we already talked about that Trump is not a racist. But hey, people like Charlemagne never want to actually look at the facts. Because before he ran for president, Charlemagne was probably supporting him. I bet you you could find a clip where he didn't see Trump in that way. But hey, it doesn't really matter, right? Now let's debunk the other thing. Um, that he wants to use gender and race and he wants to take the country back to the way it used to be. I mean, this is what Trump derangement syndrome sounds like. It's not rooted in reality. There is no study, no no executive order, no legislation, no video of showing President Trump wanting things that way. What you see is him telling it like it is, which people do not like to hear. It's like truth is kryptonite to some people out there like Charlemagne the God, by the way. And so he he's absolutely wrong about that. In fact, the Democrat Party are the ones who run everything based on race and gender and identity, which is why President Biden came out and said that she was a DEI hire, said that he wanted to make sure his vice president was going to be a woman and a person of color. He made about race. And then let's go back to the person on stage, that activist, that journalist that asked that question, whether or not uh, she was elected as a vice president because she was a black woman. She made that question all about race when Donald Trump was there on that stage in Chicago. She made it about race. She didn't ask, hey, do you think Vice President Harris is the most qualified vice president? No, she made that question about race. So there's that. And like I said throughout this entire video, the issue has nothing to do with whether she is black or she is Indian. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with how she's been flip-flopping how she tried to switch up her accent, how she's been pandering to the black community. And you, sir, Charlemagne the God, you're just as fake as the rest of them because you don't even have the balls to call that out. This is the same guy that had President Biden come onto his show and say, hey, if you're trying to figure out if you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. That guy. And he never even pushed back on that. He just looked the other way. Yeah, he's a coward. I know. So as I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you guys. Why will black men not vote for Kamala Harris. It's the same reason why other Americans will not be voting for her, okay? Because it's not really about the color of someone's skin. It's about the radical left policies that she represents. She is a San Francisco liberal. Just think about that. If you don't live in California, just answer the question, do you want the rest of the country to be like California when it comes to its policies? And I can guarantee you, if you did a poll across the entire United States of America, you're going to find majority of people are going to say, no, we don't. And that's what she represents. And black men see that a mile away. Listen, in the black community, we know if you're black or not. We're not stupid. OK, we know. And you're either black or you're biracial or you're mixed. So this is why uh, black men and many other Americans, it doesn't matter the race, the gender, the creed, or wherever they come from, they're not going to vote for her because they are not seeing who she really is. She She's not sharing any level of authenticity. So that's my mindset on this. What do you guys think about that reporter who went to the barbershop uh, in Pennsylvania and got that response for, from those black men? Uh, what do you think about the accent that she tried to do? Uh, what do you think about the fact that she ran on her Indian heritage? And uh, what do you think about where we're at right now with all this? Uh, I want to hear what your guys' answers are and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.